We're here with volleyball coach Chris Johnson in the early part of summer. Coach, talk about the spring season that you had here that just brought to a conclusion here a little while ago. Yeah, we saw a lot of good things this spring. Um, you know, we, we got to uh, get back on the court, and uh, we're returning five starters plus our libero next year. So um, they're continuing to, to build on that chemistry that they had this past year, um, working new people into the, the starting spot that's open and also um, – you know, into a few other spots on the court to, to let other players kind of play with those starters and, and gel everyone together as much as we can. Um, you know, saw a lot of improvement in uh, a number of areas. Um, saw our defense get better. Uh, our passing improved throughout the spring, which was really good to see. And, um, you know, just kind of continuing uh, to get more aggressive on, on the attack, which is something that I really value on our, in our offense. You played a lot of Division One schools during the spring. Talk about that and some of the things you were able to pick up from playing that caliber of competition. Yeah, um, that was a good experience for us. We were able to beat some of those schools head to head, which was, um, you know, I think, is obviously a confidence booster. Um, you know, and I think it just kind of proves to our own players that yeah, we can we can play with anybody, and um, you know, if, if we're doing the things that that we're working on and, and that we control the things that we can control, then you know, we can be a really great great team. Um, I think the thing that stood out to me the most this spring was one of our matches um, in particular against Oregon State. Our outside hitters just were great. Um, the, the two in particular were Lindsay and Kaylin um, that, you know, they just had, they just both had a match where they weren't making very many mistakes and it really paid off for us and helped, a, helped out the team a lot. But it was good to see both of them, um, you know, taking that many swings without making any or too many unforced errors. Most of the new recruits are still in high school, but you had a couple of them in camp. Talk about what you saw from them a little bit. Yeah, Kaylin uh, transferred from Boise State and is looking very good on the outside. Um, you know, her passing is improving throughout the spring. Her attacking is really, you know, pretty darn good. Um, she really has the ability to hit high off the hands, which is great, and, uh, you know, has some shots too. So that's really good to see. We also had the chance to um, have Maddie Cavill with us this spring as a gray shirt freshman uh, after graduating high school early. Um, and she was kind of a really nice surprise. I mean, it was a fast recruiting process with her, and she came in really ready to go and um, is enjoying college already and uh, really making an, an impact on, on the court as well. Um, and she's going to be someone that is able to push our, return, our returning middles and, um, you know, be, add some valuable depth uh, to that position on our team. During this early part of the summer, the kids are off campus. What sort of things are you doing to get ready for the fall by the time that they return and get them um, to start practice? Just got back from a nice vacation. I'm going to play some golf tomorrow. But, um, you know, as far as it's related to volleyball, just kind of getting everything ready for the fall, um, getting prepared for our, our camps, um, getting uh, hotel reservations done, um, keeping up with recruiting. Uh, we're allowed to call the, the girls that just finished their junior year now. So we've got... Um, one junior committed and, and offers out to a couple of others. So, um, you know, we're excited about that process and uh, just kind of keeping track of a number of things. We've got equipment orders going and things getting embroidered and printed and kind of all the boring stuff that happens behind the <laughs> scenes, I guess. And talk about your camps. When are they coming up and uh, what kind of things can the campers expect? Yeah, we've got uh, one middle school camp, uh, August 1st and 2nd. Um, I think that still has some space left in it. Our one we have two high school camps. The first one, August 3rd to the 5th, uh, still has room. Uh, our second high school camp is already full with a waiting list of about 10, I believe. Um, and it'll be uh, very similar to previous camps. You know, we want to promote a, a fun environment, a learning environment, um, where the kids are learning techniques and mechanics, but also um, getting to play a lot and having a lot of fun and, and um, just have a good time, you know, learning volleyball and playing volleyball and, uh, you know, teaching those kids uh, the skills of the game. You had a chance to do some coaching over in Italy in June. Talk about that experience a little bit. Yeah, that was interesting. It was, uh, we had 10 college players over there and we played against five different Italian club teams. Uh, the level of play was pretty good. Uh, it was interesting to see. Um, it, it was very evident, especially with a couple of the teams that we played, some of the things that are, I think, um, encouraged more or emphasized more in the international game. Um, in particular, uh, one team, they didn't have anything going. They weren't attacking the middle of the court at all. They were um, they were attacking from the middle, but they were everything they were hitting was towards the sidelines. I mean, they were hitting within three or four feet of 
the sidelines and the end line on every attack, which um, you know was really interesting. You can just tell that that's where they, where they were trained to hit the ball. Um, you know, so that I think was the biggest thing to me that um, stood out as far as a, a strategical difference. Um, but it was a great experience. You know, we had, um, like I said, we played five different club teams. They were all very uh, gracious hosts and um, gave gifts to our team and to the coaches, which was really nice. And um, the experience as a whole was wonderful, getting to see that country and, and um, just play teams from, uh, from Italy. Counting down the days to start a practice, ready to get you all geared up for the season already? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're feeling, I mean, I, I'm kind of, it's nice to have a break in the summer, but at the same time, you're just kind of chomping at the bit and ready to go and wanting to go. And, um, you know, um, I'm sure the girls are all working out hard this summer and um, making sure that they're ready to go. And, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to the fall already. Like I said, we've got, um, we only lost one starter, so... Um, you know, coming off of our best season ever and losing just one starter is encouraging, uh, you know, right from right from the start. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to have a really good schedule um, as far as the preseason goes, playing uh, two Californian teams, two uh, Hawaiian teams in our first tournament, and then uh, playing in the, what do they call it, the Premier Invitational or something like that in Denver. Um, playing a new D2 school in Cal Baptist in Nebraska, Omaha on the first day and opponents to be determined for the second day, which, um, you know, it's an actual tournament format, which I'm looking forward to. So um, all in all, I'm excited and really looking forward to the fall.